quite a lot of pages and catalogs, isn't it? Searching for specific bearing type has now come to an end. We at Siemens have defined a Siemens bearing nomenclature, a digital system which will be relevant for our products and also for our suppliers. Now, one might ask why we put so much effort in such a small component like this one. The answer is quite simple. Bearings play a major role at Siemens. They are a key commodity. Bearings built into many products and exist at various versions. Bearings are important for electric motors and geared motors as well as for industry generators. They are important for wind energy gearboxes, for industry gearboxes, and are used for railway. The importance of this component is enormous. Therefore, we have decided within our Corporate Technology Council for Bearings to redefine the structure of our Siemens systems. This has several advantages. Optimize lean engineering and manufacturing. Increase flexibility. Shorten the time to market. Develop new services or business models. Increase the availability of the supply chain. Let's have a look into the bearing nomenclature. The new Siemens bearing nomenclature consists of four main areas. First of all, you will find information about the bearing types used by Siemens. The second area consists of already known design features which are based on international standards called DIN or ISO. The third area consists of design features which are not based on international standards. Last but not least, there is the fourth area which consists of additional design features like the rolling element geometry and calculations factors. All areas focus on an overall vision, a digital definition of bearings with a standardized, easy-to-use measurement. If you have any questions, please contact us. We are gladly to support you.